They all thought I gave up. They all thought I just forgot. But I never give up. And I never let down either. Throughout the past couple of months, my original goal hasn't changed. To obtain the giant sword. You see, for the past couple of uploads, I've been searching for ways to make money. All in the name of buying the giant sword. Now, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you'd know that I recently got Inferno Minions. And if you're wondering how that's been going, well, uh, it's, it's just been going pretty good, I'd say. Okay, well, it's not actually been going that well recently, but in order to explain all that, I'm going to have to take you back. Uh, approximately a few weeks back, back when I first uploaded the Inferno Minion video. You see, a few days after I made that video, I started to notice that my Inferno Minions were only making half as much money as they used to. And at that point, I was really confused. But then I remembered what mayor was in auction at that time. Derpy. Now, at this point, I was making less money than I did before with Tarantula Minions, and I was starting to consider this another failed investment. But that was before I learned about Minion Fuel. One of the reasons why Inferno Minions are so unique is because they have a specific type of fuel that only they can use. But when I actually started to use the fuels, I discovered that Inferno Minion Fuels are basically just free money. Or at least they were. And that brings us to now. It would actually turn out that the setup I was using had a lot of issues. Now the main issue is that eventually the farm just kind of stopped making money for no reason. I actually ended up getting to the point where I would lose money by using fuels. And it was then that I decided to just call the whole thing off. Now you might be wondering, Shabadoo, is this another failed investment? Well, considering the fact that I nearly doubled my starting money, I wouldn't say that. Even so, 37 million coins is still nothing compared to the price of the giant sword. After clearing away the flames, I was left alone and minionless on my island. But fortunately, I had a plan. You see, in my previous video on the giant sword, I spent the entire time getting red sand minions. Now, unfortunately, since then, the price of red sand has dropped a lot. But you know what hasn't dropped a lot? Mycelium. So what this means is that basically, I'm gonna have to ditch my current faction, lose all the reputation I have for said faction, all for the sake of getting minions that farm funny purple dirt. In order to get these minions, however, I'm gonna have to switch from the Bacon faction over to the Harry Potter faction. Your city layout was too complicated anyways. Now, since I am joining a new faction, this does mean that I'm gonna have to go and replay the whole main storyline again, so, um... Just give me a minute. Hey yo, what's up guys? Back again for the same video. I did the quest, it was kinda boring I guess, but anyways, I can craft the mycelium minions now. Alright, you know what time it is. And with the minions crafted in place, my production of funny purple dirt began. After putting in a mining crystal, because f for some reason these are mining minions even though they have nothing to do with with mining i mean it's not it's, it's just not like mycelium is an ore you, you don't mine it with a pickaxe and after placing down a mining crystal my minions make around 2.2 million coins a day now i could increase this number by just buying a mushroom pet but after this i, I think i've done enough afking for a while now like l listen i like money but I also don't want my computer to overheat, like, honestly. I don't think it can handle anymore. Minions alone, however, won't accomplish my goal. If I want to get the giant sword, I need to think of some other ways to get money. Which ties into the next part of my plan. Viewers be warned. The following content may cause heart attack, stress, or lead to you being incredibly spooked. It's ghosts! Ooh! Spooky! Yeah! Ever since the release of the Dwarven Mines, people have thought of countless ways to kill these ghosts. All of which are really expensive. But by using a combination of Mastiff Armor and a Pooch Sword, you can do damage to the ghosts while still healing enough to survive their attacks. Oh wait, ne never mind, this guy with the Hyperion showed up. Yeah, th thanks, bro. What is this? <laughs> some some random guy, I don't know if I got it, but some random guy just ran up and then just got insta-killed. 
Oh, no, you poor fool. Okay, so I'm just gonna go do this for like an hour. And I'll see what uh, vast riches I get. So, I'll, I'll see you then, I guess. Alright, so it's been about an hour. And let, let, let me just show you the drops I got. So, I got one plasma, one sorrow, and five freaking voltas. The worst possible drop that the ghosts can give, I got five of. Yeah, you know, guys, it's probably just, just a bit of bad luck. I'm sure if I grinded for a couple more hours, I'd get some good stuff. It's to totally, guys. I I, I promise. I'm, I'm good at the game, guys. Yeah. Okay, so it's becoming sort of obvious that this method isn't going to work. Mostly because, A, whenever I want to kill a ghost, I have to actually go down there and, like, rapidly click. Which is fine for the first ten minutes, but afterwards, you just get carpal tunnel. And which, y y you know, nobody likes carpal tunnel. And secondly, I believe that I have probably the worst luck just ever. Now, since the method I'm using really isn't that popular, there is a high possibility that I'm just doing this completely wrong. So, you know what, may maybe I'll go look up a tutorial. And for armor, you want either a Warden, Crimson, Tarantula, or Necron's helmet. Preferably a Warden helmet. From there, you can use Oh, why Necron didn't I think of that? Any... No wonder I've been making no money. You know, I'll just go buy a Warden's helmet real quick. And the final note about armor is if you're using Mastiff armor, don't. Okay, yeah, I don't think ghost farming is going to work out. At this point, I was feeling defeated, like there was no hope left. But then, something magical happened. Jerry became mayor! Now, I don't know about you, but Jerry here has kind of a special place in my heart. He's been here since the start. Even the first video that I made on this channel that got over a thousand views was on Jerry. And hopefully it would be Jerry to solve my financial woes. Oh hey guys, so I've noticed that in a few of my clips, the video gets cut off right before I finish my sentence. And I just want to say that if that bothers anyone, I'm really- I began to farm sugarcane. A for the profits, and B for any hidden Jerry's found along the way. By the time the Jerry event had ended, my endeavors had granted me nearly double the amount of money I had before. And even though this is probably the most money I've ever had in Skyblock, I would need to double it and more to afford the giant sword. At this point, it's clear to me that my journey has not yet ended. And it will continue. In part three, yeah!